Okay. Uh, hi, Brent. Um, okay, Sherry, I'm glad you got to be here. So the reason um, I'm doing this recording in the first place is because Sweet Liddell reached out and um, just was kind of stuck and struggling. And so I told her, let's um, do a social media training. And then I asked her if she would be okay with, I mean, it's kind of vulnerable sometimes when you're struggling and then you open it up to other people. So um, thank you, Liddell, for doing that. I really commend you for opening this up. Um, and when Liddell said that she was stuck, I just right away thought of like the world, the world that we all live in is filled with so many beautiful things and so many things that we do on a regular basis that actually are intriguing to other people. We just don't realize it because we're in our own world. So we think it's mundane. We think the things we do don't matter. When in fact they do, we all have those special things that we're really good at. Whether mm -hmm. it's for Liddell, I know that it's cooking. I know that it's homesteading. I know that it's gardening, like parenting, being a mom of adult children, um, having her family living on her property and they built a yurt. Like so many mind blowing things to me that I suck at, that, <laughs> but also, but also that don't interest me. Right. But I know they would interest someone else. Like I would, I like to cook when I'm in the mood and that's maybe once a month cooking for other people scares me to death because I am not confident in my skills right? And, and gardening, I would love to be a good gardener, but I, it's just not a talent that I have. I would rather go to a farm stand and buy it fresh from someone else. So for anyone watching this playback back and Sherry for you too, like, I just want you to, first of all, really take time and sit in what are the things around me that I really cherish and that I love and that I'm good at. And because the reason you need to think about those things is because the person that you want to work with, that you want to bring into your business, they're the same person. They're you. They're the person that love the same things, right? And so the more that you are talking about the things that you love, the more that you're going to attract those people to you. And then the... It seems hard at first, but I believe the easiest part for you should be being able to talk about what you love, right? And it comes from first, again, remembering why you are doing this business in the first place. What is the thing? And even if it, if the word why freaks you out, get away from the word why and just think about like, what is my reason that I want to really go all in and be vulnerable and be authentic and show myself to the world. Like what, and it's not going to be to the world either. It's just not, we think we're exposing ourselves to so many people when in fact, it's such a small piece of the population, right? Such a small piece that we're actually really exposing ourselves to. And everybody's scared. Everybody's afraid, but that's the beautiful part of social media is we get to be the light. We get to expose ourselves in a way that bring other people hope right now, show them other ways to do things, to live, to have hope, to believe in God, like all these things that we can share. And we just need to, and, and when we're learning, if you're growing and you're learning and you're reading and you're plugging into things, you always have content to share because most people aren't. Most people are plugging into the negativity. They're not plugging into growth. So you sharing the things that you're growing in and the, the aha moments you have, the, the best tool I have in my phone is my notes. I have thousands of notes in my phone because I'm always taking notes when I'm driving, before I go to bed, just in moments I'm like, oh my gosh, I should share that. Oh my gosh, that would be a great thing to post. Oh my gosh, I'm sure other people would love to hear that, right? So you have to think about your reason for being here in the first place. 
Why are you willing to share life vantage and put in the work? Why? What is your reason? At the end of this, if you could make the money that you want to make, why do you want to make that? What are you going to do with it? What are the changes you're going to make? What are the things you're going to pay off? What are the differences you're going to make in other people's lives? Are you going to move? Are you going to buy more for your property? Are you going to set up your family? Are you going to create a trust? What is your reason? And then that becomes the driving force behind you being okay with putting yourself out there. And then most importantly, taking the time to interact with people and you yourself going and finding people like you. It's one thing for us to put the information out there, but it's a completely different thing for us to then go and spend 20 to 30 minutes finding maybe the right groups you want to be in that deal with what you deal with or um, find, doing a search on Instagram, a hashtag and finding certain posts and interacting with people that are posting. That interaction and you finding the people is just as important as you putting yourself out there for people to find you. Because by you finding them, now there's this connection being made. And when you're finding them, none of this that I'm telling you about posting right now is about getting a customer, getting a team member, none of it. It's just about finding commonality with people. And then the rest will come organically, right? That's the goal, it will come organically by you creating conversations with people. So as much as I honestly, I would love to turn off my social media. I would love to not do it at all. I'm going to be completely honest, but I know that it is a tool that I can use to share my light. And I know that it is a tool to bring in and find the people I want to find, because let's be honest, the last few, I don't know the last customer I got that wasn't through social media. And you know why it is though that I'm getting them is because I'm posting things about my life and being very open and authentic. But in my stories is where I'm talking about product, right? Because it's, it's that rule of thumb that will never go away. People don't care how much, they don't want to know what you know. They don't care how much you know until you know how much they care, right? <laughs> is that the right saying? Yeah. <laughs> Um, they want to know that you care. They want to bond with you first. And then by default, they're going to see your story one day and go, oh my gosh, I didn't know she did that. I just think she's so amazing. The fact that she's talking about collagen, I want to know the collagen that she uses because I love following this person. She brings me so much value. She brings me so much value. So you have to not think about everybody else. You have to think about your people and your people are you. They are you. If you were to write down a list of who your perfect teammate is, it's going to be you. She's going to love the same things you do. And you're going to be able to talk for hours about those things because you're talking about it, right? So when it comes to posts, what typically I'd say three to five buckets, right? Three to five buckets that you cycle through for your posts. And those are family, um, occupation, um, hobbies, uh, faith. Um, yeah, it could be, I mean, I think those four are great buckets to go through. Um, when it, when it comes to occupation, like if you have a full-time job as well, talk about it now and again, talk about the stress of it. Talk about, um, like Liddell, I've seen you post about things people have in the break room and you're like, I'm going to stay away from that today. Right? Like little things like that. You can talk about that or frustrations of work or whatever it is. Um, but family can be very easy, right? Your hobbies can be very easy. Um, home things at home that you love, whether it's decorating, gardening, homesteading, like I said, um, it's just a matter of, again, when you know the reason why, you're going to then have a voice in your head that says, I should have my phone out and I should take a picture right now, right? We want to be present. We want to be in the moment. And I'm not saying walk around with your phone the entire time. I'm just saying, if you're going to be cooking in the kitchen, Liddell, like I told you, prop up your phone for a little bit and just allow yourself to be recorded while you're cooking. 
Okay, just allow yourself to be recorded. Sherry, I don't know like your loves and everything, but when you're doing those things that you love, prop your phone up, face it towards you and allow yourself to be recorded while you're doing what you do. Because that's what they call B-roll, okay? B-roll is when you are not talking right at the camera and you're not like verbally speaking to someone. It's um, you showing them you in action and you're just recording that. It's the best kind to take. You could do, um, Liddell, you could do a simple video of your feet walking from inside out to your garden. You show your feet walking and then all of a sudden you pan to your garden and show your garden, right? And here's the other great thing. It does not have to be long because people don't have the attention span to watch a long one anyway. They just don't. They say the normal attention span today is seven seconds, seven seconds. Okay. It's so sad, but I'm seeing it in myself. There are moments of I'm like, Tanya, like calm down, <laughs> like just chill out, <laughs> relax a little <laughs> because we get in that. It's just sad where we're at today, but so it doesn't have to be a lot. Now the videos, we're going to talk about reels. Um, but when it comes, if you're just on Facebook, po you can do reels on Facebook as well. If you're going to do reels on Facebook, I would highly suggest do going from Instagram to Facebook, connecting the two so that when you post one place, it'll post to the other. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to post from one to the other. I'm going to try one more time to see if my phone will connect. Hey, Tanya, I have a dumb question. Yes. Um, what is the difference in a story and a reel? Because I honestly don't know. Because I, I, I just started doing Instagram finally again. <laughs> and I've never been good at it. My phone just connected. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Let me get rid of... I've been doing some classes with my daughter too, because she's really, really, really good. Oh, and, good. Um, so she's been helping me a little bit, but yeah, I, I've been relating to Liddell's question. Cause I was like, what is all this? But she tells me to do everything in Instagram and then save it and then do it. Cause she said, it's, there's more stuff you can do with Instagram, but do you find Tanya that you do more on Instagram or do you do more on Facebook? So I post more on Facebook than I do through Instagram um, because I find that when I post on Facebook, I get more interactions. Yeah. I Instagram, when people are looking through Instagram, I know for me, I use Instagram to um, check out. I use it to look for inspiration to look for stuff on like homes and all the things like it's like a fun thing for me right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I do get influenced on Instagram as well like if there are people that I'm following that are talking about something like that can hook me in also so I don't disregard it I do more when I post on Instagram it's more of a video a reel and okay. when I do Facebook I'll do more posts okay um one thing that I'm working on too is going back to all my old posts, like some of my old posts in Facebook and using some of the verbiage that I used in my post to put it into a reel. And again, like, a so a reel is what you're seeing right here. A reel is what you see on the feed. Okay, a reel is a video that you make, and I'll show you where to start to make those. Your stories are what you see up here. These are the stories up at the top. And you can put a reel in your story once you've created it, if that makes sense, right? But a reel is created to be a post. And now when you make a reel, like for instance, when I made this one, if I go to edit it, um, see, you can see here, it says I shared it to Facebook. 
So we can set our reels so they're automatically shared to Facebook. I don't do that. I don't always share them. Um, I do every once in a while if I haven't posted for a little bit in Facebook because I'm not doing it daily now. It just stressed me out and it was too much. Now I'm just really posting when I truly have something on my heart to post. And I feel like I'm getting more interaction that way as well. There's going to be experts that tell you post every day. There just are, right? Um, if you're posting every day and you haven't posted a lot anyway, like I really would recommend try to be as consistent as possible. You don't want to do like once a week, like at least try to be on there three times a week. That should be your bare minimum because you do want people seeing you. You want that you want that exposure. That's the way that you're going to build these relationships is by them seeing you more than not. Okay. Are you yep. sorry? No, go ahead. Do you mean posting or do you mean doing your like your reels at the top? Do you mean you post more? You mean like on your Facebook, you mean three times yes. a week? Yes. Okay. At least three times a week on Facebook, I am posting. Um, I'm not getting it done as much in Instagram, um, but I'm always trying to make sure that my stories are active. So for instance, I don't have an active story right now. And you can see that because this little circle at the top, there's no blue right. around it. Right. Um, I just have kind of checked out on the 4th of July and yesterday. Um, and I don't do it a lot. But when I do check out and I'm not always on my phone and posting stories, it doesn't mean I'm not taking little videos of what I'm doing, right? I'll just take a little video of what I'm doing and I'll save it in my camera roll. And that may be, it's simple things. It's outside, how pretty it is. Like for 10 seconds, I'll just scan outside. For five seconds, I'll do my feet walking into somewhere. Um, yesterday I took a video of me helping my teammate in real estate as we were staging a house. I took, I just propped my phone up and I let it record while we were doing our stuff. And that was it. So it wasn't like I was holding my phone, always recording. It was out of my way, but it was recording me as we were doing things. And I'll use that later for content. And I just have it tucked away in my camera roll. But what I found is when I check out for like a weekend and I come back and now suddenly I'm posting my stories. And so when your story is live, you'll see you have the red circle around it. I suddenly get more eyeballs on it. Cause they're like, Oh, Tanya's back. You know what I mean? Or, Oh, she's at the top of the feed. Cause she hasn't done it for a while, but throughout the week for sure. I always want my stories in motion because people are always looking at different times right? There's always different eyeballs. And it's important that when you post a story, um, here, I'm just going to post a real, a story real quick of us. So I'm going to take a picture of this right here. <laughs> That's funny how you can see that. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go to <laughs> my story. I'm just going to click on the plus sign. And I have my picture. And now when the picture shows up, it fills the screen. If I take my two fingers, I can make it any size I want. You can also, um, I'm not on this, you can't. So I can make it any size I want. And now I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna type um, morning training with some of my teammates. I love doing this and I love them. And then, okay, sorry, I need to slow down. So when I type that in, you can see at the bottom right here, all these different fonts. Mm -hmm. If I just move my finger through those, it changes the font that I want. Mm -hmm. So find one that you love that speaks to you. Like you could pick one that you always do and it becomes essentially a part of your brand and who you are. Mm -hmm. Choose the one that you love. There's a bunch of them down here. 
So I typically go to this one. Now, if I click on the words, I'm just gonna tap my finger on the words, or um, not the words, at the top here, these two things. I'm gonna click on this box right here in the middle. And what that does is it puts a color behind the words. If I click that box again, it changes the color. Oh. If I don't want it black or white, I'm just gonna click on the color wheel here. And now find, I would highly suggest, find your favorite color and use it all the time. Use it all the time because you can essentially start branding yourself. Like when they see a certain color. Recognize. Uh oh, she froze it. <laughs> <laughs> and you could, oops, I want to do it on my computer. I got to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it did. I went, I moved it over to like this green here, and I can use that color. You could pick a color on your screen if you wanted to. I like that color. It's pretty. So I'll use uh -huh. that because it matches the color on my picture here, right? So um, if I want to add music to it, I'm gonna go up here to the music icon. And now it's gonna automatically bring up for you like the most current music and trends that people are using. So if you wanna just hear them before actually posting it, you simply go over here and press play and then it's gonna play it for you, okay? If you want a certain kind of music, maybe a jazz or summertime or something about food, you simply go up here to the search engine and type in whatever word you want, whatever oh. word, happy, joy, food, um, grilling, like there's a song for everything, <laughs> everything, okay? Mm. And then when you pick the song you want, you just simply click on it. So I would click on this. I'm not going to be able to hear it, but it's going to play it. And if I decide I don't want it, I can just X out of it. I just hit cancel at the upper right. If I didn't want it. I click the music. Click the song. And I decide I didn't want because I can't hear it. I have no idea what it says. So I'm going to do cancel and then I won't have any music. All the stickers that you see, all the different stickers, the magic is right here. And literally just play with these, okay? So when I click on this guy, like there's so much available to you. It's typically gonna show stickers um, at, right away. These are gonna populate based on the trends and what's happening and if there's um, like a holiday or something, okay? Otherwise, we've got all of these guys up here. So um, the one I use the most, like Avatar is fun. If you click on Avatar, you might have to create this in your phone. I'm not sure. Um, if you need to create your avatar and you don't have this option, YouTube has been my favorite friend in learning how to do social media. I will simply go to YouTube. I did it this morning on connecting my phone because I always forget how to do it. Um, just go to YouTube and click, how do I create my avatar on Instagram? And there are typically like two to three minute videos that will show you exactly how to do it. So um, you could do, uh, let's see. The other one is if I wanted to search for dancing, if I wanted like a certain little sticker or GIF to show on this reel, or I'm going to put happy, it's going to bring up emojis at first that are stagnant, that are just like a sticker. If you go down, it'll bring mm -hmm. up these GIFs. So it brings up actual cartoons. So I can pick Anna. And then I can move her with my two fingers wherever I want on the page. That easy. And it just takes playing around. And I honestly would say, like, if you 
if when you're playing around with this, if you post it for some reason and you didn't mean to, let it go. And then in the next slide, make so much fun of yourself, like have so much fun with it because people love that. Like mm -hmm. they just want to see real, like don't try to fix it. Nothing like let it go. Truly. Uh, the three dots up here. Those are simply your ability to, you could draw on the screen if you wanted to, like with your finger, the AI stuff. I don't know. I haven't played with that yet. I have no idea what the AI stuff is. So, but the effects is fun. If you click effects, it's going to at the bottom bring up um, like a and move my cursor. I don't know if that shows up for you. There we go. Um, a little menu here that you can scroll through. And basically it's going to change like the look of the screen. You just kind of got to play with it. You can see how the screen color changes a little bit every time I go through. Sometimes not as much. Um, I'm going to go all the way back and not have one. I'll click done. The other thing is when I have everything up on the screen, I am simply going to put my finger on the right side of the screen. I'm going to swipe to the left. And by doing that, you can see what happens. Oh, sorry, Anna. <laughs> I'll go up here. <laughs> I'm moving it. And now what it's doing is it's changing the filter. Mm -hmm. See that? Now I have different filters to work with. If I want to go back to one, I'll just swipe from left to right. My go-to is the first one is Paris. I use Paris a lot just because it's so subtle. It just softens everything a little bit. And I just did that with a swipe of my finger. Okay, cool. move on a back. Um, what else can I show you? If we go up here to this one, it makes it like a boomerang. It cool. just makes it a just a very simple video. Um, at the bottom, if I click on this slow motion. Which one did the boomerang? I was writing a note right up here this guy okay okay like an affinity symbol okay mm -hmm. so with this i would say um what would be like a fun you know a lot of people do boomerangs when they're cheering you know they're cheering with somebody cheersing so cheersing. cheers <laughs> cheers <laughs> <laughs> New word, you're welcome. <laughs> Britt does it all the time. <laughs> Perfect. So I would play with that, like take a cup, take something, take a video. You're going to have your camera up here and you're just going to take a video of you guys cheering, right? And then you're going to put the video into your story and then you can click this up here and make a boomerang out of it. Okay, just again, just play with it and have fun with it. I don't use this very much, honestly, but I can see when I click that as well. Um, see how it gave me options here at the bottom. This one's slow motion I saw, which can be nice too if you want something in slow motion. Um, this one, Echo, I have no idea what that means. Let's play with these. Let's, I'm gonna say done. Um, this guy here, okay, don't worry about that. That's for brands, ads, partnerships. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this because then I wanna show you what happens. But what you're gonna see at the bottom is you see at the bottom here, it shows um, your stories and it's got the little blue Facebook circle by it. Mm -hmm. That means it's going to automatically post to my Instagram and my Facebook. Okay. Automatically. So I'm going to post that. I don't ever really do um, just close friends. I mean, I guess you could do that in a situation where um, if you're doing something privately or you wanted just your kids to see or whatever, just know you do have that option. If you wanted to post like a recording of yourself to your kids you could then choose just them to see that story and it wouldn't go to everybody. 
which is kind of nice. Okay, so that's been posted. Um, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to take <clears throat> a quick video and we're going to play with that boomerang stuff. I'm just going to take a video of my setup of my desk. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> People only knew that where you actually worked. I'm going to start over here. It's so weird that I can see her doing it there, but it, I know. also see your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Seven seconds, what I did. I'm going back to my Instagram. I'm going to go to my stories. I'm just going to click the plus sign. Caitlin Clark, they play today. Woo -woo. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the video right here. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, and then let's play with this. I'm gonna go to, oh, where'd it go? Of course, now it's gone. Interesting. Huh. It's not there. Uh, it's not there now, is it? No. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Let's try just a photo again. Maybe it was just with like a live photo. Oh, I see. So see on Kyle's picture here, it's got the boomerang there. That means it was a live photo that I took. Like my camera was on live. You know, do you know what that means? Yeah. I've seen yeah. it before, I've but I don't know what the difference is. I've accidentally with, uh, done that. <laughs> well, a still photo. Let me show you through my camera roll here. It's almost like a video, right? Yeah, so it is. Yep. So yeah, here's sure. Gloria. I had her picture to use yeah. for a shareable, right? So if I click on Gloria, like I can't, if I click on her photo, this is a still photo. Mm -hmm. If I go to Kyle's photo, if I hold down with my finger, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, I have a little bit like a second to, yeah, maybe uh -huh. not even a second of a live photo. So if I didn't yeah. like his face here, I could actually go back and use his face here, <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. And see how it says live in the upper left-hand corner. Uh -huh. So to me, honestly, that just means that little boomerang feature is kind of worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you'd want to use that with a little live photo, unless with the live photo, let's just see if I put Kyle in here and I click boomerang. It's just a very simple feature, right? Doesn't do much. So we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see here real quick. So what I did, what I'm going to do, I did my story. So I'm going to click on my story. And what I was looking for in the lower left-hand corner is to see if anyone has seen it yet. Mm. Okay, it'll show you. So um, when people see it, that's a really important feature that I want to show you as well, because then you get to know who's watching your stories. And it's a great mm. thing and a great way to like go interact with them and thanking them for watching your stories. Especially for you guys, you could simply say, I'm just really trying to get better at sharing. And I'm really trying to get better at sharing my home studying and my gardening and things behind the scenes for my life. Thank you so much for watching my stories. How are you doing? It's just a great way to start conversation. Hmm. Hi, Liddell. Let's watch her stories. Gives her interaction. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Love it. Okay. 
So I got so, <laughs> I kind of checked out the last couple of days. <laughs> that's okay. Um, okay, so again, with stories, try to always keep your stories going. And a good rule of thumb with stories is when you post some stories, do like three at a time, three stories at a time. Um, especially if you're doing like life vantage and you're talking about a product, talking about a sale, because I'm telling you if, and I've heard this from many trainings I've been a part of, and I see it in my numbers. When I can see the number of people watching my stories, they diminish little by little, especially after three, if you're talking about the same thing, mm -hmm. they just fall off. So if you're going to talk about a product, you're going to talk about something you love, keep it at three slides or less, right? Mm -hmm. A great yeah. thing to always do like once a day is it's like sprinkle it in with, you know, gardening, being outside the holiday, oh, collagen story, collagen before and after, and then letting it go, right? You sprinkle it in with other things. You don't want to always be in your stories talking about product. You want to sprinkle in your product, but you want to do it often. And you really want to do it in a way that the stories you share and the results that you share are ones that you truly love, are ones that relate to you and your life, or especially are your personal stories. And here's the most non-threatening thing. Well, it's going to feel threatening at first, but... <laughs> When, if you're in your kitchen or when you're making your Axio or before you take your collagen, turn your camera on towards you. Yep. I said it, Liddell. Sherry, I'm sure you feel the same way. Okay. <laughs> turn your camera on, face it towards you. And if you want to talk about it in the beginning, great. If you don't want to, that's okay too. I've done videos where I will literally video myself taking my collagen taking my protandum like 30 seconds right and I'm taking it with an axio and then that video is in my camera roll mm -hmm. then I go to my stories I find that video let's say it's this video of me right and I simply put that video in my stories I click done and then on top of that video I write about what I'm going to do for the day you don't have to even write about the products. It could be the background video to you talking about something else. It could be the background video to a quote on health that you love, right? So it is the movement in the back to your story of something that you want to say to people. A little, 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 little. I'm going to put that here, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then you make it the color you want whatever it is. But remember when you do videos, if you don't choose music to go over it, it will default to the sound that you had on that video. And you may not always want that if you've got kids or family talking in the back. So if you're not going to do music to it and you just want to, it to be about the words, you could literally go up here to the microphone. And when I click that, it'll mute the background noise. Okay. Okay. So then all they'll see are the words, but I highly recommend putting music to it for sure, because we all know that music brings a feeling. Mm -hmm. So if you want it to be inspirational, um, you could go to the music sign in the Iowa, you can type in worship and then you can find, um, there'll be so many that you can choose from, and then it will automatically put that song. And here on the bottom, this is important. As I move this, you can see it's going to different lyrics in the song. In the song, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm literally putting my finger on this part, and I'm moving this. I'm moving the music to find the lyrics that I want for that area. Okay. You just slide your finger? I'm just sliding my finger. Not in here, because what this represents is the amount of time that my video is. Okay. So if my video is seven seconds, this is a seven second block. Mm. So I'm sliding my finger out here to choose the music that will be in this seven second block. Okay. Okay. 
this, my, my fingers out on the right side and I'm clicking it in there. Okay. Okay. But typically the music will default to like, um, the, the meat of the music, like the meat of the lyrics. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's like the chorus or, or like the, what the song is yeah. about. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So any other questions about stories? <laughs> okay. Awesome. I know me and my daughter, um, she was trying to help me and she's like, something about taking a picture of myself. And I'm like, well, I don't want to be on it. And then she's just laughing because I, I'm the same way. I'm like, can we do it without that? And she's like, no, it has to be personal. And she's always wow. giving me bad time because I'm always like, can we just do it without that? And she's like, <laughs> and I, I just feel so fakey on them. So I'm just like trying to, yeah. So it's just funny. We just had that talk with her. So, yeah. You guys, here's the thing. I'm sure when you said that. <laughs> I, I have mm -hmm. goosebumps because I'm thinking about, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about all the people that are doing things that they love or they so badly want to be seen or they so badly want to take the first step to put themselves out there and they're terrified. And by you doing it, you're giving them hope. Like share your fears. <laughs> if you, you both right now, right now, this is an order. <laughs> I want you to take a picture. I want you to put it on yourself and I want you to face it. I want you to do a selfie with your camera in the background of you doing this training. And you're going to put that in your story, not right away, but after we're done. Yeah. Oh, I got to do some face improving before that. But. No, literally, <laughs> just, just uh, do it up high. Up high is a good way, right? Mm -hmm. Just say, woke up this morning and jumped on a training to better myself in my business. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do I it. I don't have any makeup on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never wear makeup, so. Yeah, just <laughs> truly. <laughs> No, I'm a hairstylist, so I don't get that feels caught good. without my makeup. Yeah, fine lighting really that good. feels good. I figure out how to turn my camera around. I know. I just I'm a hairstylist, so I'm like into oh. like I I have clients that follow me. It doesn't look very prosperous. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get one, Liddell? Yeah. Okay. I took a picture. Okay. Awesome. Sherry's doing it. She's doing it. Oh man, this is show them the good. behind the scenes. Show them what else you're doing besides hairstyling and how you're trying to make a difference in the lives of other people. Yeah, I'm not good at this. You can do it. Put it up a little higher. Higher is a better yeah. angle. Okay. Yep. Well, I don't. <laughs> my daughter's always yeah. talking to me about background, so I don't like that my TV's in the background. <laughs> My kitchen's in the background. No, you, Sherry, you got to let that perfection go. <laughs> My daughter's a perfectionist. Nice. She's always like, check your background. Check yeah, no, stuff. allow yourself to be messy. It's okay. You guys, you guys saw my office. I've got, my kids have, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I had stuff. Okay. I'll show you guys. You can see. I'll show you. Uh. Look at Look at my floor. I have a pillow behind me because I sit on it sometimes on my chair. I have a barbell because sometimes I do weights while I'm in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> everywhere. I have my Well, I'm in transition, TV. so we just we like, took my, my bedroom apart. It becomes the catch-all. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Well, I just took our bedroom apart, so I'm just moving stuff back in, so it's all a mess. So yeah. Okay. All right. So good job. I'm so proud of you. Those are things again, if you need to in the beginning, cause I get it. Um, those it's, it's content. <laughs> it's, it is, it's just content, mm -hmm. right? And what's right. our reason for doing this in the first place? We want to share ourselves. We want to put ourselves out there because if I can do it, so can they, mm -hmm. and that can be a post you could share three times a month. If I could do this, so can you. 
Those words bring people so much hope. Those words are words that people relate to and they want to hear. If I can do this, so can you. Like remembering in moments to take photos. When you're on the Monday night team Zoom, take a photo, right? Um, I will always like kind of have my phone up horizontally and I'll kind of get it out of the window so you guys can't see it. And I just kind of prop it so that I can get a full picture of the screen of everybody on it. And I always put it in my stories Monday nights to talk okay. about community and who I'm learning from. Um, anytime you're doing anything like that, it's a great time to talk about culture and community and why you love being a part of this. So always have it front of mind. And if it's hard for you to remember, because I think especially for you guys and some people that are going to be listening to this, it is hard for us to make it a, to be front of mind right away, to be conscious, to make content of it because we are terrified, because we are fearful, because we don't want to show imperfections. But if you are in that zone, find sticky notes and put sticky notes everywhere to remind you until it becomes a habit. Just find something to remind yourself. Okay, so let's go to reels. <clears throat> hey, Tanya, I have a quick question. Yes. Um, like the stuff that goes on to the telegram on your shareable social, you know, yes. Is that stuff I'm, I'm worried about using stuff that I shouldn't be using and I'm worried about getting in trouble for using stuff I shouldn't use. So I'm just asking, is anything on there we can share or not? Yes. Everything that goes into the shareable on Telegram or even our Facebook um, Telegram. Yes. Yeah. It's all you can use it. That social that well, I guess it's on Messenger, the social yes. media. You can yes. use any of that. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I don't want to be using somebody else's. I didn't know what, I think that's yeah, what I worry no. more about is yep. using stuff that I shouldn't be. So thank you for asking. Yeah, no, that's okay. for everybody to use. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, so one thing, and I ha don't do this a lot. So forgive me as I walk through this, but to make, do you guys all have it set so that when you put stuff on Instagram, you can put it into Facebook as well. Yes. Okay. You do. Okay. Go open your Instagram and mm -hmm. I can tell you. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't use my Instagram only to follow my two kids. I don't, and I like to, I follow inspirational stuff, but I don't post anything on my Instagram. I'm not really friends with anybody. I just go use it for that too. But I don't know how to do that. It's she's showing you settings and activity. Okay, let's do this. I went to the three bars in the upper right. Okay, I'm gonna do it for a while. So, forgive me. I'm gonna go to accounts center at the top. <clears throat> That's okay. That okay, look what she's doing. And then it says sharing across profiles. And this is where you could add your, is your Facebook in there, Liddell? I, I don't even know how to get where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, see these I found it. right here? Uh, no, I don't see that on mine, actually. Oh, that's weird. It's not on your profile? Oh. No, uh-uh. Are, you, you are you on this screen, Liddell? No, I'm on my my page my that's what i'm wondering oh. if she is though so. that's oh, what i'm wondering okay. if she is how do i get there Hold um on. in the lower right here liddell yeah, in the lower right there'll be a oh, circle gotcha. okay there yeah. there. now i have it okay okay okay, okay. Right. so go to those three lines you three there lines you go. three lines okay and then account <laughs> centers at the top okay and then here, this first one, sharing across profiles, go to that. Oh, yeah, I have my Facebook on there. Perfect. If for some reason, someone that's watching this, you do not, just go to add account and it will allow you to add your Facebook, okay? So then everybody should be set. That's great. <clears throat> okay. Get up. Keep going, but. 
I want to bring up something else here too. This is super important and a super great tool. So if I'm, I'm going back to the three lines at the top again, okay, those three lines, and I'm clicking on this first guy here, saved. Nothing. So saved is where you can save posts and you can save music that you want to use for a reel. Okay, and you can save posts that you want to share. So I'm going to click on all posts here. And so what will happen is if I'm like scrolling through and I find a post that I love or typically um, I want to maybe send to my girls or I want to save for my own information, this is where I'll save it. But here's what I'll do. I find a post. I'm going to click on this top one here. And I saved it by going, when you look at posts, there's a little flag in the lower right of the posts when you're scrolling. Mm. And you save it by clicking on oh, that right flag. <laughs> okay. So that means you've saved it to your saved stuff. So here's what I'll do then. When I save it, I'm like, okay, I want to share this later in my stories. So to share it, I'm going to go to this envelope or what this airplane. This airplane <laughs> go to the airplane and now it says it gives me options to share it down here i can share it add to story is the first option and then it mm. simply shows up in my stories oh that's cool and i can add music again i can put a sticker over it i could put why i love it all the things that easy and then once i share it um i unsave it so that I like don't do it again later. Okay. Makes sense. <clears throat> but that's that's where you can save things that you want to use later. It's a great way just hmm. to get content that you didn't have to create, right? Okay, so let's go back. <clears throat> and now we're gonna go to creating a reel. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus sign at the bottom. Right here. Okay. And then at the bottom, you can see, see how there's a little menu. It says post, story, reel, and live. So we're going to keep it on reel. It will default to reel. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to pick, I'll pick some videos from yesterday. Okay. I'm thinking of something real quick. No, we're just going to do it this way. I'm going to pick this one, 37 seconds. I'm going to pick a couple of videos. Okay. A couple of videos here. <clears throat> Now at the bottom, there's two ways that I do my reels. One is I will start with music first. I'll start with the audio that I want to use because many times it's the audio that gives me ideas. If you don't start with audio and you just took a video of yourself like outside, you're gonna find that when you bring in your video, there's going to be options for you at the bottom right away. These are going to be the most current options of audio that people are using. They're going to be the most trending audios. It is smart to use those, to use trending audio, okay? So the Texas Hold'em one, right? We've all heard that one by Beyonce. So I'm, I, let's say I click that. Never heard of that. And then I'm just <laughs> simply pressing next. I'm pressing next because now I have my suggested audio. Or again, see it on the lower left here? You could do a search. Mm. And this is where you could search. Um, you could search outdoor gardening. You could search, um, like if you're a coffee shop and you want to take a little video of what you're drinking and maybe you're journaling or you're with your hubby or a friend and you take a little video quick of you at the coffee shop, you could do a search for coffee shop. 
Like there's, you could search any word, mm -hmm. just know that. And there's going to be audio for you. Okay. But we're just going to go, if, um, once I did this search real quick, I want to show you to get out of this. If you don't want to use anything here, see this line. I just put my finger on that line and I swiped down. Okay. Okay. That's how I got out of that. Okay. So I clicked Texas Hold'em and now I'm going to click next. <clears throat> Okay, so I have my videos on here. This is me mm -hmm. setting it up. <laughs> I don't want this whole video in here. I want this reel to be like eight seconds long. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to edit video. So I'm putting my finger. You can see it shows the music. And it shows my two videos. See, they're separated right here with this sign. So I'm going to put my finger on this section and it highlights it. Okay, now I have my finger on that highlighted section and I'm just scrolling it back and forth. I'm moving this with one finger right now. Okay, now being highlighted in yellow means I can edit it. I can splice it down. So I'm going to put my finger on the left here and I'm gonna move it in. Mm. Now I'm editing the video. I'm gonna show me handing something off to Kelly, okay? And I can see now as I move my finger from left to right, oops, that that is not a lot of time in that video, right? Oh, it's 10, how much is that? Yeah, that just goes very quick. Okay, so I'm gonna put my finger on the second one and I'm gonna splice this down just by going to the right here and I'm gonna move it in just a little bit. Okay, now you can see at the top, see right here, okay, look in here, The see that yellow number moving? Oh, yeah. That's how many seconds this is going to be. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go to about seven seconds. There. And that's telling me how long my entire reel will be. 7.3 seconds. I'm going to keep it there. The music came with it. Okay, so now I'm all set. It goes automatically to this next scene. So I'm just gonna click my finger over here in the black somewhere to unedit it. And now I've got all these options at the bottom, right? So I can add text to it. Um, I can also, if I look down here, you could do different filters. Mm. Done. If I wanted to do a voiceover, all I'm gonna do is press down on this button and now I'm gonna talk my way through. Um, it's gonna count down. And now I can literally tell people about what I'm doing. So if I'm gardening and I'm outside, done. So my voiceover is right here. So now I've got music and I've got a voiceover. I don't want both of them to be um, loud, right? Maybe I want the music to be in the background. So what I'll do, let's see. I'm gonna go to volume. And now see both of them are the loudest they can be. So I'm gonna use the music and I'm gonna turn that way down. So the music is gonna be in the background of this video mm -hmm. and you're gonna hear it while my voice is talking. Okay, I'm giving you all the stuff here. I know it's gonna be like you're getting out of a fire hose but you'll have the <laughs> recording as well. But I can't emphasize this enough, that voiceover can be so powerful, especially again, I'm just gonna stick with gardening, okay? You've got your, 
your camera on you, you're videoing yourself working in your garden, teach, teach people, find something while you're doing it. <clears throat> if you're, if you have to do it in a certain way, if you're trimming it, if you're, what you're feeding it, whatever it is, take a little video of that. And then when you have your video and you put it in here, record yourself talking about what you did and why. And it doesn't have to be long. I do find um, there's an account that I'll give you guys after this. She lives not far from me here in Eagle. And she is known as the hydrangea lady. Like mm -hmm. all she does is educate on her hydrangeas. <laughs> That's all she does, you guys. And her yard and her hydrangeas, and I think she has since created a garden, but all she does is educate on that stuff. And she has over a hundred thousand followers. She gets brand deals. And now she's making money through her Instagram because wow. she teaches, she teaches on what she's doing. She will teach on her video sometimes. She'll tell people what she's doing while she's by her hydrangeas. She'll teach or she'll take a video of her doing stuff in her garden and do a voiceover. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you her account after. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got that. We've got music and we've got a voiceover. Um, through your voiceover, if you wanted captions with it, you can add captions and it's literally going to transcribe what you said. I didn't oh. talk a lot, so it's going to come very quickly. But yeah, see now it's it it's what I was telling you. It picked up my voice as I was transcribing. So now at the bottom here, I can change the font for the captions when they come back. The captions are the second half of the video. See, here you go. I can change the font of it. If I want to change the color, I'll go up here. I'll change the color. Wow. Mm -hmm. So now I'm done. So if I want the captions that I used to only show up on the second half of my video, see how it's highlighted in yellow again? That means I can move it. So I'm putting my finger on the left and I'm moving it over. Now see the yellow perforated line that showed up? What yes. that's telling me is, boom, I'm in line with the second half of the video. So okay. the words are going to show up now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger on the top here to make it full screen. I just clicked on the video. And I want to add some caption to the front half of the video. So I'm going to click on the letters. Hi. How are you? <laughs> so if I put my finger on the letters, I can move it anywhere I want. If I do two fingers, I can make it bigger, smaller. And again, at the top, if I click or if I click if I put my finger on the letters, now I can change the um, color. I can change the font and I can change the block, what shows up behind it. It gives you a few more options when you're in a reel. Okay. And all I'm doing is clicking on that box at the top. Okay, I'm gonna click done. So now I'm going to go back to edit my video. One thing I'm going to show you real quick. See at the bottom here, it's got the CC and it's got the high. Mm -hmm. I have my video on here. And as I add more to my video via words, via captions, via a sticker, an emoji, Everything I add to the video that I started with is going to show up at the bottom. Okay. It's all going to show up at the bottom here. So when I go and I click on edit at the bottom again, everything that I'm adding is also going to line up down here. 
And I don't want everything that I've added to always show up on the whole video, right? You see people do videos where the, it's like words and then the words change and then the words change. Mm -hmm. This is how we edit those. So the hi, how are you? I only want that on the first half of the video. So I'm going to click on it. I just put my finger on it to highlight it. Now I can move it. So what I want to do is I want the hi, how are you to just be on this first half. So I'm going to put my finger on the right side and I'm going to move it over until I, you're going to actually feel a click on your phone oh and I see the yellow perforated lines. So I move it and click done. That didn't always used to be there and you had to guess and it was so hard <laughs> and now they've made it so much easier. So now I know <clears throat> that the hi, how are you will only show up at the front half and then it will transition to me talking in the second half. Okay, you'll have me mm -hmm. talking and in the whole video, it will have the music, the Texas Hold'em in the background. Make sense? I'm gonna click on the top again, just to make it bigger. And I'm just gonna add a sticker just for fun so you can see how that works. <clears throat> and put the big, small, wherever you want, right? Maybe I just want it to be at the bottom at the very end, but you can see again, it showed up at the bottom that I added it. I'm gonna just edit. And every time you add something, it's going to default to be a part of the whole video. So you want to always edit that. And maybe I just want it to show up at the end. So I'm going to tap on the sticker so I can edit it. I'm going to put my finger on the left-hand side and move it all the way to just kind of show up at the end as a little slice of love. Okay, so now I can move this with my finger all the way to the beginning and I can press play and see how it looks or I can tap my finger on the video up here to make it big and I can tap again and it will play it. I wish we could hear it, but. There's our little video. So by adding something in at the end, like that little sticker that you did, that can also kind of help to keep people's attention too, right? Uh, yeah, it could for sure. Um, Just because it's like something new popped up. So you're like, don't scroll yet. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Um, and again, when you're doing, um, when you're talking, if you're going to do a voiceover and you're going to educate that can be a little longer, right? Your limit is a minute, but educational videos like this can be a little longer. Don't worry about rushing that because you're educating them. You just want to make sure if you're going to educate them about something, you get to the point sooner rather than later. Like right off the jump, you tell them the topic. You don't like, hey guys, how's it going? Like, you're going to lose people. You just are. You have to hook them in right away. Have you ever wondered how? Have you ever thought about how to? Have you ever? Have you ever? Like that have you ever is going to hook them, mm -hmm. right? And then you tell them, have you ever thought about? Have you ever thought about putting a yurt on your property? <laughs> we did. <laughs> like that alone. <laughs> I mean, that little video would be so cool. <laughs> Giving them a tour of the yurt that you made for your in-laws. So I just think that's the coolest thing ever. I could never in a million years do that. Um, I would not know how to start. <laughs> so I just it's a, it's so a cool. kit. We didn't invent it. It's a kit. <laughs> I but still, it's a kit and you put it together. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So the next thing now, I'm going to click next. Don't be afraid of the next button. You're not going to post it. Okay. I'm going to click next. Now, when I do, the great thing is now I can save it as a draft. 
Ah. So here's what I've done is you're good. I have these moments sometimes, and it usually happens on a Sunday afternoon where because I've gotten up for church or because I've made a bunch of video throughout the week, now on Sunday, I'm going to make my reels and I'm going to draft them and have them ready to go because then I can just take them from my draft and post them, take them from my draft and post them. Oh, okay. I'm not stressing myself out doing a new one every time. Drafts are your best friend and you can get every single thing ready to go in draft. Okay. So I literally, I could go back. Um, I could click this back arrow if I forgot something and do it again. Oh, one quick thing too, I want to remind you of is um, once you have made your reel, Instagram sometimes when we save it into a draft, sometimes it hasn't done it for a while, but it will post your reel and all the words that you put with it don't show up. So it's just a plain video. Hmm. So to bypass that, this arrow right here, if I click that, I'm saving this video to my camera roll. Okay. It's just a great thing to do just in case. The okay. only thing it won't save is the music. So mm. if you put it back in, if I save this to my camera roll, I literally can go to reels again. And the only thing I have to add back is the music. Everything else is done. Okay. So make that a default that you save this, especially if you've done a lot of words, you've done a voiceover, all the things. It should save your voiceover. It just won't save the music. Okay. So anyway, make that a habit. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go to next. And now I can add my caption as well. Right. So if you're going to um, make a video <clears throat> about gardening, <laughs> um, you could... And over the video of gardening, you're basically saying um, uh, something, something that will maybe capture them to then read the caption, right? Um, like, I got more than normal of my peppers this year. Here's how I did it. Mm. And you don't tell it in the video. You put that in the caption. Mm. The meat is in the caption. The caption is the draw, right? Okay. Motivation. If you're going to talk about, you know, I just, I do a lot because I'm really trying to bring in like business builders. I'll do a lot about being in business. And then I put the meat in the caption, not in the video. Okay. Okay. So you can type your caption up and have that ready to go in your draft as well. It can all be ready to go. So once I've done my caption, <clears throat> I'll click OK in the upper right. And now I can also, in this, I can do my hashtags. <clears throat> so, gardening. Get it, get um, you get you can court. do as many hashtags as you want. I'll do it. You want. You got it? Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Mom. I would say too, with your hashtags, get as acute as you can. Narrow down on your hashtags as much as possible because you can see like when I put in mom, um, there's 61.9 million mom hashtags. Wow. Is it in our room? It's a lot, right? You want, yes. you want less, you want less than that. You want like thousands, not millions. So the more you can narrow down on <clears throat> um, your topic, the better, uh, like homesteading skills, that'd be a great one because there's less people. So you have more of an opportunity for them to see you on their main page. Mm -hmm. So try to find the ones that have less people seeing it. It, it benefits you, but pick a couple, pick a couple in the millions, but also try to pick some that are less because you, you have a better opportunity to um, really narrow in on the people you want. So you can put your hashtags in there. 
um, and then see, I scroll to the bottom and see it says here, share to Facebook. And I have it off every right. once in a while. I'll just click on that arrow and I will just turn it on. And when I turn it on, it will always ask me, do I want it on for all my reels or just this one? Ah. And that is honestly, it's completely up to you. I really do think people are watching reels more on Facebook now than they did before. So mm. you can turn it on for everyone. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Sometimes I'll share it to Facebook if I if I don't have like a post idea, just so I have stuff running in Facebook. Mm. But my reels get more love and attention on Instagram than they do on Facebook. So, but yours though, Liddell, if I think of you, especially like gardening and homesteading, I would share to both. Okay. If it's a skill, if it is a skill that you're sharing, Sherry, I mean, goodness sakes, girl, you could share so much about different hairstyles, different updos, different like color techniques. Like you literally, you should have a tripod on your desk, like, or at your station, literally. And you don't even have to share it. Show your face. This tripod I have behind me, I'm going to show you real quick. This guy, I got it at, on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I can, <laughs> it's so fun, <laughs> but you can like, there's a holder right here. I can change the, the, um, how tall or short it is. There's all these things to change it and I just plug it in and then I can, um, yeah, you should have, you should get one of those and have it at your station because when you're doing certain updos and stuff, those get so many views, so many views. Oh my I God. click on those all the time. Actually. I love yeah. watching hair stuff. Like yeah. hair stuff is so fun. And I don't have, it's like a, what do you call that? Uh, just when I don't want to think about anything, I'll watch hair videos all the uh, time. I really yeah. do. Same. I send them to my girls. I'm like, exactly. I'm put my hair up and make it look decent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sherry, like all day long, sister, you should be doing that. <laughs> so I don't really get I into the, Sherry, I don't do a lot of the updo part of it. So yeah, yeah, I do like more coloring cut. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's value yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go, but yeah, this is where you could um, turn it on to share it to Facebook. And again, you could okay. turn it on for all reels so that it will always automatically go, or you could do it just one one at a time. Okay. Um. So then, once I have everything done and all these other things in here. You could add your location if you wanted. Um, you could tag people on Instagram if you wanted. Uh, you can see my audience is everyone. Uh, so yeah, that'll help you there. Um, then when you save it to drafts, <clears throat> I could share it right away if I wanted to. But when I save it to drafts, I'll show you where it shows up. So now I'm just going to X out of here. And now I'm going to click on this second button. This is where all my reels show up. And I'm again on my own personal Instagram page. Okay, so I'm going to click on right that here. little video. And okay. your drafts show up first thing in the upper right, upper left. Okay. So I click on drafts and I've got all these drafts in here. And at any moment, I can just click on them. I can um, type my stuff in, blah, 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 blah and then share it. Okay. And then the last thing I'll show you real quick <clears throat> is how to, I literally, if, if you have content that you're, you've got and you're sharing, you're keeping videos in your phone, right? Especially like be real of you doing stuff. And let's say you're scrolling through. <laughs> So what I'll do typically is like you pick a video, you click on the video with your finger, and now all I'm going to see are reels, right? So let's say I come to a reel and I love the audio to it. I, and I want to use this audio right now to a video I have on my phone. 
All you need to do is click down here. It says original audio. I'm going to click on that right there. It's down at the bottom. And now right away, I can use it. Use audio. Pick my uh -huh. video. Click next and make my reel on the spot. That's that cool. happens to me sometimes. You just get, you're like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. You know, or you just love it or whatever. Or if you don't want to, but you love the audio, you can save it right up at the top. Okay. Save it for later. When nice. I save audio I want to use later, I will typically make a note in my phone as to my idea up to what I want to put to the audio. Because nothing annoys me more than I'm like, oh, I don't know why I saved this. <laughs> you know, and then you don't know why you want to. <laughs> so, so again, if I saved it, I'm going to go back down here to my personal page. I'm going to go to the three dots. I'm going to go to saved. And the audio is going to be in oh. here. Okay. Right. Makes and then. Sense. To hear the audio, you just press the little play button on the right and it will show you. Um, and it will show you too <clears throat> how long the audio is. So that's how long your video would have to be to go with it. Like gotcha. the long, cool, this one, I don't even know what that is, but this audio is a minute and 40 seconds. So again, I could edit what section of the music I wanted to use for mine. So those are a couple different ways to go about making reels from scratch at the bottom or directly from an audio that you love. Any questions? <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm going back to that fire hose statement. <laughs> 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 mm. yes yeah okay so but do you feel good about the information yes yes okay. the yes. main takeaway is what make more videos yes yes <laughs> share more share more and I know it can be like intrusive when you hear people say that but People like us in Life Vantage, we have to share more because we are light and love and hope. <laughs> like it is our duty. We're not supposed to keep it a secret. When we're reading a book and we love a quote, you're not supposed to keep it a secret. When you're reading a book and you love a quote, put the quote over a video. Or for a, a post in Facebook, may, take a video of you with the book. Like many times I'll like, like I'll get the book and I'll like take a picture like this and it, it'll have the name of the book. And then I'll share my quote as my, my post and why it meant something to me, why I love it. Right. That's the inspiration from it. You don't have to expose your whole face. Even. <laughs> but um, again, it's a community of we're, we're really in that phase where before reels were all about lip syncing and they're just not anymore now mm -hmm. they're more about just videos of you living your life and you giving them information through it like yesterday when I was scrolling I found <clears throat> I'm going to share real quick so you can just see whoops um, some screenshots I took um so many screenshots oh my lenta of some posts that, um, some reels that I love, like this one. I took a screenshot of this reel. I didn't save it. I could have just done that too. But um, ideas of like, this is just her like walking, just her walking. But this is what she put in the reel. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that idea. Mm -hmm. It's value. It's value. And what you think isn't value, it's valuable to people that want to know you because mm -hmm. they're you. <laughs> you have value in everything that you do. Remember that. Okay. Rem please have that in the back of your head. Um, another one I took. Oh, this one was great. 
So she did, um, <clears throat> yeah, she did POV point of view. You're an esthetician, not a content creator. And her video was horrible. Like her video was simply her um, trying to take a video and it was like kind of wonky all over the place, but that was the point. She's an esthetician. She's not a content creator. And then this is what she shared. We pinky promise that our facials are better than our filming skills. <laughs> right? So good. Let's do it. So good. Oh, <clears throat> I want to show you real quick. Uh, take a picture of this if you want to. This is who she was. Oops. If you want to go find that reel and you can see it yourself, it's Elevate Wax and Facials. Mm -hmm. And um, her hubby actually is in Life Vantage. They opened this salon. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to show you the hydrangea lady too. <clears throat> She's a great person to learn from. There she was. All I did was see, that's how good she is. Hamilton House Designs, 216,000 followers. <clears throat> I'll show you some. That's her homes. Look at all those hydrangeas, you guys. They renovated this entire home their set themselves. Here she's training and teaching about hydrangeas. But yeah, she's a great one. She incorporates life, decorating, and educating on hydrangeas. Home and garden hydrangea queen. That's her. Great one to follow too. And also like looking at her bio as well, right? What she wants to, you do not have to be the health and wellness person. You do not have to be the biohacking person. Like mm. be the person you want to be homesteading and gardening queen Liddell, like be the thing that you love the most and put that by your name for goodness sakes. Right. It, I mean, just put that by your name, the things that you love. Life Vantage then becomes a part of it organically and by default because they first fall in love with you, <laughs> you and what you do and who you are. They're falling in love with you first and then organically you're bringing in the side hustle through your stories. But every once in a while, right? Every once in a while, you're gonna post about your own hair your own skin, your child's story. Like we all have stories with our products that we probably have not told in a very long time. Tell it again. Tell the story again. Like can't imagine where my life would have been or don't even, don't start with the product. Don't start with a product. You want to hook them in, right? Like 10 years ago, he could barely walk up to an airport gate. You know, and then I talk about Kyle or whatever. Um, yeah, your stories with your family are the most relatable. And then now and again, you could share a customer story, a customer testimony. But we don't want that to be a post that happens very often. We want that to be in your stories. Right. Okay. Let them fall in love with you and what you love and what you do. That's how you'll find your person. Okay, I'm going to wrap it and stop recording. Any questions before I do? <laughs> no, that was How very do you good. Thank you. Record. What? Sure. <laughs>